Previous course we discussed the difference of the um, so how um, we can solve the knapsack zero bar zero bar one knapsack problem using the backtracking approach and this is the algorithm for that. Okay, we are discussing the working of the algorithm. Okay, so we already discussed the up to this point okay next uh, continuing the presentation so uh, and the next step we want to do is that uh, so here so we started from here uh, then we reached here then from here I call B nap 3 comma 70 comma 7 then I reach it here then I try to explore this path okay but it's not possible In the previous class we discussed okay so next to what we will do we will uh, then we execute the, this part and then uh, we reach that we call this one for v nap 4 comma 70 comma 7 then we reach at this point okay. then we reach the we will call again v nap with this parameter and after reaching at this state it what it will do it will set the condition okay this will be basically okay. so then we execute this part. This part we will execute. Then uh, this part. This will be the uh, code executed. And after that, uh, ex after executing the code. Uh, we will reach here okay we will reach at this state we will reach at this state we will reach at this state so this is a uh, in that state what we will do we will calculate fp okay in that state we will calculate fp fp is the final profit fw is the final weight at that time so this is a you can observe this is a solution path okay so uh, first we this this is a solution path so starting from here we reach it here by placing we started from here then I placed the object one in the knapsack. Then I reached here. From that position, I placed the object two. Okay. Object one is already the object two I will place. Then I will reach at this point. Okay. So I reach at this point. Then here you can observe this is zero. This is zero. That is, in this state, I tried to place object three, but it is not possible. Okay. So then I moved this path, moved along this path, and reaches at this state. And in that state, I will place the object four. Okay. Object four I will place. This is four. So one object one object 2 object 3 is not included object 4 then the and in this state i will copy this entire array y to 
x that is the final solution okay. that is the final solution so uh, this is the final solution okay that is uh, we started in, uh, this is one solution path okay. this is one solution path this is one solution path. from here here then this is a solution problem and the final weight is 12 and which is less than 15 and less than 16 and the final profit is 80 it tries to maximize the problem so this is one solution part in the problem okay. This is one solution path in the problem. As we know, what is back? What is the use of backtracking approach? It is used to find a, a set of solutions. Okay, it is used to find. It is always used to find a set of solutions. Okay, so in this, this is one solution. Okay, this is one solution. This is one solution, and okay, this is one solution path then we need uh, then what it will do is that uh, so then after completing this uh, i will backtrack okay i reach it here this is one solution i can print the solution then i will go back then i will backtrack to find another solution okay then I will backtrack to here. This is completed. This also completed. So from here, I will again backtrack to this point. Okay. I will backtrack to this point. Then from that, from here, I will try to explore another path. Okay. So uh, I got a solution. To find another solution, what I will do? I backtracked to this point and from that point i will try to explore another path if i explore another path using the same concept okay using the same concept if you explore another path then you may get another solution sometime you may get another solution so as i told the stage space graph uh, will be very large okay so that you can try yourself okay so this is the concept of uh, backtrack approach to solve uh, knapsack problem hmm? so uh, we discuss this algorithm and it's working okay we, we discuss this algorithm and it's working uh, and we obtain one solution path hmm? in order to find the next solution path the algorithm will backtrack to here then to here then from here it will try uh, another for example you can note here this is three okay this is three here uh, this is two okay it will try to explore another path then you may get some other solution okay so we need one solution because uh, it will take long time to uh, discuss okay so anyway our objective is to uh, understand how a backtrack algorithm will work. Okay, uh, how uh, a backtrack algorithm can be used to uh, find a solution to a zero bar one knapsack problem. And in the university exam, uh, they asked one question. Uh, this algorithm they asked. Okay, so uh, we dis discuss the working of the algorithm and the algorithm okay so this is about a, a zero bar one knapsack problem <laughs> so and before that we discussed uh, n quins problem using backtracking <coughs> okay n quins problems using backtracking okay 
so next what we are going to do is that next concept is uh, okay. so this is our uh, syllabus okay uh, next concept is uh, branch and bound branch and bound okay next uh, problem solving approach we want to study is branch and bound so i will take that at the last session of this module okay i will take that topic at the last session of the module tomorrow day after tomorrow okay then we can finish the module so now i am focusing on some uh, other concepts okay this is the part 2 of the module this is just a descriptive topic. There is no algorithms, etc. Uh, okay. So this is module six, second part. Okay. After completing the module six, second part today, we will take branch and bound. That is the last topic. Okay. So uh, here uh, in the module six, second part, we want to study some different types of problems. Okay. So tractable problem, intractable problem, etc. This is just a descriptive topic, so I am covering this today. Okay. So, uh, what is a tractable problem? Uh, we are di uh, differentiate between tractable problem and intractable problem. Okay. Suppose this is the question, then. Uh, we want to just to define what is a tractable problem, what is an intractable problem. It's a very simple concept. Okay. So uh, a problem is called a tractable if and only if there is an efficient algorithm that is solved within polynomial time. Okay. If there is an efficient algorithm that solves a problem in polynomial time, then that algorithm or that problem is called a tractable problem. So this is about the tractable problem. Okay, what is tractable problem? So this is module six and part two. In this part, we will study uh, this part. Okay, this part, introduction to complexity theory, tractable and intractable problem, the P class and then P classes, polynomial time reductions, the NP hard, NP complete classes. These are the topics we want to discuss. Okay, so three hours is allocated. Uh, I'm trying to finish it very fast. Okay, then after completing this topic, we will study branch and bound. That is the last topic. Okay. So, uh, so first we are discussing tractable problem. Okay, this is basically introduction to computation sorry complexity theory okay so what is tractable problem what is tractable problem means a problem is called a tractable if and only if there is an efficient algorithm that's all within polynomial time okay then that type of problem is called a, a tractable problem okay a tractable problem for example you can observe a linear search what is the complexity of linear search big of n what is the complexity of uh, matrix multiplication big of n square okay so uh, these type of problems can be solved in polynomial type okay then that type of problems are called tractable problem okay then that type of problems are called tractable problems okay so very simple okay uh, it can be solved in polynomial time which means it will take a time uh, n power k where k is a constant for example big of n square big of n big of n cube etc uh, if you consider the problem sum of n integer matrix multiplication linear search binary search etc okay binary search means uh, worst case only okay binary uh, linear search etc polynomial time algorithm and uh, we can define this in this way also that is the problem can be solved in polynomial time okay. the problem can be solved in polynomial time. okay 
so next is what is intractable problem a problem that can't be solved that can't be solved in polynomial time hmm? so it may take more than the polynomial time hmm? that type of problems are called intractable problem okay one minute Okay, that type of problems are called uh, intractable problems. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, you can note here uh, the complexity will be the power exponential to raise to an n factorial, etc. In the second module or first module, we studied uh, different types of algorithms. Okay, uh, based on the time an algorithm will take, we can classify algorithms. Okay, so um, these intractable problems are the problems that cannot be solved in polynomial time, which means it will take exponential factorial times. Okay, for example, uh, so these are very complex type of problems. Okay, so um, one example is Towers of Hanoi. Towers of Hanoi. Then n queens problem, okay, n queens problem, knapsack problem, etc. Examples of intractable problems, okay. So uh, now we discussed what is intractable problem and what is intractable problem. What is intractable problem? Okay, we discussed what is intractable problem. Uh, and examples of uh, TSP, traveling salesperson. Okay, uh, Towers of Hanoi, then and Kings, etc. Examples. Okay, it can solve in exponential time, polynomial time, etc. So this is about the different uh, tractable problem and the intractable problem. Okay. Intractable problem. Next, we want to discuss uh, what is P and NP class. What is P and NP classes? Hmm? Okay. What is P and NP classes? So okay. Uh, Please give your attendance now. Okay, please give your attendance in the chat box. Okay. So next is P and the NP classes. Okay, what is class P means problem solvable in, in polynomial time. Uh, that is called P class. So there are two classes. One class is the problems that can be solved in polynomial time. Then that is called uh, P class. P class consists of a set of four problems that can be solvable in polynomial time. There is an algorithm A that can be solved in big O of n raised to k, where k is a constant. Then the algorithm A is called a class P problem. So P means polynomial time algorithms. So what is class P means? The set of algorithms that can be solved in uh, polynomial time. That's a very simple definition. What is class? Next is class NP. 
so what is class entry so it consists of those problem that are verifiable in polynomial type so class entry means it consists of the problems that are verifiable in polynomial type okay so uh, these problems for example these problems are called the decision problems okay decision problems solvable in non deterministic polynomial time are examples of class np class np consists of a set of problems that problem the characteristics of that problem is decision problems for example and queens etc are considered as decision problems okay decision problems solvable in non deterministic polynomial time so uh, this is this type of problem is example of class np so uh, what is mean by decision problem here what is mean by decision problem it gives a result yes or no okay it gives a result yes or no that type of problems is called a decision problem okay for example if you consider an queens problem i want to place eight queens my question is is it possible to arrange eight queens in such a way that they will not attack each other this is my question and the answer to that problem will be yes or no okay so sometimes i can place or not so basically n queens we can consider it as a decision problem at the same time another is uh, for example knapsack problem i want to place uh, my question is it, is it possible to uh, place a k object into uh, the bag with the maximum profit the answer will be yes or no okay so uh, that is also a decision problem so that is about the decision problem so decision problem means it gives the result yes or no okay so at the same time what is sorting is it sorting is a decision problem no we want to arrange the data in ascending or descending order so try to understand what is a decision problem it gives the result as yes or no what is non deterministic meaning so decision problem solvable in non deterministic polynomial time is belong to class np so what is non deterministic meaning so non deterministic meaning guessing some solution and find out the result okay so we will guess some solutions and find out the solution so previously we discussed with this type of problems okay this type of problems in this type of problem at a state there are several several choices we will guess one choice and we will proceed to get a solution okay try to understand that concept uh, this problem knapsack problem and uh, this problem and feed problem at each state for example i am in this state then i will randomly take this choice then i will check whether it is okay or not and is if it is not okay i will guess another value then i will try okay in that way it will proceed okay so uh so uh, non deterministic meaning guessing some solution and find out the result okay 
that is the concept of non deterministic okay so what is non deterministic means you can just observe this one okay and queen's problem at this state i will guess the values for x2 x2 okay then i will uh, reach at this state in this state i will guess some value for another uh, x3 okay 2 and 4 is available i will guess 2 then i will proceed with this in this way i will try to get a solution okay so that is about the guessing some solution okay so uh, if you are using guessing some solution then and uh, find the result then that type of uh, uh, method is called a non deterministic method uh, for example if you think about an sorting an array okay uh, we are guessing anything there no it is a predetermined procedure to sort the array contents of the array and we don't want to for example quick sort a bubble sort etc there is a fixed procedure we don't want to guess the solution and proceed okay so that are deterministic algorithm so what is non deterministic means at a state we will guess some solution and find and find out the result okay so there are two terms involved in it decision problems solvable in non deterministic polynomial time what is non deterministic polynomial non deterministic mean okay then what is polynomial time means it can be solved in polynomial time so uh, this type of problems are belongs to the np class class np so decision problem solvable in non deterministic polynomial time belong to the class np it consists of so this is about the what is decision problem what is non deterministic and the examples are n queens problem tsp knapsack etc chain matrix multiplication etc or uh, this type of problems then we can say that it consists of those problem that are verifiable in polynomial time okay so that problems are verifiable in the polynomial time which means uh, we can get an answer yes or no within the polynomial time that is called a verifiable that is sometimes we may not uh, get the exact answer but uh, we will get an answer verifiable uh, in polynomial time that is called a class np so what is np what is p class p means uh, problem solvable in polynomial time okay class np means it consists of those problem that are verifiable in polynomial the solution is verifiable we will get an answer as yes or no only uh, that is verifiable in polynomial time for example in the class n p p best example you can think about sorting procedure okay sorting procedure means there is a fixed procedure for sorting we will use that uh, method to get the solution okay but at the, there is no guessing okay so here in the class np problems uh, also it is not a decision problem okay so if you consider about the class np problem these are decision problem solvable in non deterministic polynomial time and what is decision problem it gives a yes or no non deterministic means guessing some solution to find and find out the result examples are np problem and tsp exam then this is an important property this is an important property okay uh, just a uh, note this figure which means p is a subset of n p i can say that p is a subset of n p p is a set of problems that is solvable in polynomial time and n p is a set of problems that is verifiable in polynomial time then 
we can find this relation. P is a subset of NP and graphically or pictorially we can represent in this way. Okay, that is about the class uh, P class and N class. P class and N class. Okay, this uh, just a descriptive topic only. So P and N P classes. So first we defined a tractable problem, intractable problem. So differentiate between tractable problem, intractable problem. Then P and N P class. So what is P class? What is N P class? And which are the different types of problems belonging to the P and N P class? Next we want to discuss uh, N P complete and N P hard problem. Hmm? NP complete and NP hard problem. Okay. Next, we want to discuss NP complete and NP hard problem. Okay. So, it is defined as polynomial time reduction algorithm. Polynomial time reduction algorithm. Okay. So, now what is NP complete? Not here there are two terms one is np complete another is np hard we want to define both okay these are uh, defined as polynomial time reduction algorithm reducible algorithms okay so now uh, you can note here So, So, in that topic, we want to study at first what is midwayer deterministic algorithm. In this topic, this is a topic, and in this topic, first we want to study what is midwayer deterministic algorithm. What is a deterministic algorithm? Algorithm has the property that the result of every operation is uniquely defined. Such algorithm agree with the way programs are executed on a computer this is the definition of a deterministic algorithm so there are two types of algorithm one is deterministic algorithm and another is non-deterministic algorithm so deterministic algorithm means it has the property that the result of every operation is uniquely defined so that is how to get a solution is fully defined for example sorting okay then their procedure to get the solution is fixed so such algorithm agree with the way programs are executed on a computer this type of algorithm is called the deterministic algorithm next is non-deterministic algorithm so what is meant by non-deterministic algorithm algorithm that contain operation whose outcomes are not uniquely defined okay. already we discussed what is non-determinism that is guessing a solution okay to get the final result okay so non-deterministic algorithm means algorithm that contain operation that contain operation okay there is an operation whose outcomes are not uniquely defined for but are limited to a set of possibilities for example uh, here for example you can define this type of operation will be there 
choice of s okay so uh, choice of s is an operation it is used to select uh, any one of the solution from the solutions okay. for example uh, there will be some, there will be an operation like that in the non deterministic algorithm so algorithm that contain operation whose outcomes are not uniquely defined not uniquely defined but are limited to a set of possibilities that type of algorithms are called non deterministic algorithm for example uh, previous these are all examples of non deterministic algorithm okay so uh, here in this state we are we arbitrarily choose the values of 2 and 4 for x3 by using some function hmm? by using some function so a non deterministic algorithm consists of such a type of uh, functions okay that functions are called the choice function in general. In general, it is called the choice functions. So, non deterministic algorithm means algorithms that contain operation, operation whose outcomes are not uniquely defined but are limited to a set of possibilities. The machine executing such operation is allowed to choose any one of the outcome subject to a termination condition so this is one property of non-deterministic algorithm so to specify a non-deterministic algorithm there are which are the different functions in the non-deterministic algorithm choice of s okay if you can uh, there are three functions in the non-deterministic algorithm choice this is the most important it is used to just imagine guessing a solution for guessing a solution we will use this choice function so choice function will be the choice of s arbitrarily choose one of the elements of set s so this is the concept in this state uh, a choice function will arbitrarily select uh, the value for x3 the value may be 2 or 4 okay 2 or 4 x3 can take the value 2 or 4 a choice function here arbitrarily select the value of some some value and try that one okay so that type of functions will be all they always there in the non deterministic algorithm and there are two other function one is failure and success okay these are the functions involved in a non-deterministic algorithm. So now we are discussing non-deterministic algorithm. Okay, we can discuss in the next step once last one. Okay, and please give your attendance in the chat box uh, one more time. Akash. Okay, next. Akash, Opinion, Tabinavu, Authors, Abduid, Ajima, Gilsipo, Ajima, Ajima, Gilsipo, Absinda, Anaka, and Jelly and Grimm, next Akinan, Adil Satiba, sorry, Adil PK, Deviga, Dilna, Dilna, Masina. Masna, Masna, 
run away, run and see. Okay. Must need power on. Okay. Run away, run and see. Okay. Press a call. Okay. Press an email or resume promotion. Sahalan B. Press an. Press an or resume down. Sahalan B. Okay. Press an or resume down. Sahala N. Sahala N. Okay. Sangeet Saarang Sharana Sarpa. Saarang Sharana Sarpa. Okay. Vishnu Vinodu Vaishnavi Baby Sri Shma Anjita. Vishnu Baby Sri Shma Anjita. Anjita Sharana. Okay. And then Sita Amnavi Lepta Ike. Anjita Anjita Anjita. Okay, absent this Anjita Akilsi Paul Achimal <laughs> Akilsi Paul and Achimal Prasanna Nihala 